Oh, yes, sir. So, if you had any brochures stashed around? Just what's on the table. Were you looking for something in particular? No, nothing in particular. Okay, I'm just, uh, you're going to be walking around, I'm guessing? Mm hmm. If I could just have you sign in, do the screening for the COVID? I'm good, thank you. Well, it's actually county policy. Just the, the COVID screening, at least. Okay. Yeah. And then, so just kind of stand there, it'll take the temperature real quick. Stay close for taking temperature. Normal temperature. These things are so lame. Normal temperature. Uh, you can just put me down as a citizen. Okay. And then call for service of bread? No, no, sir. Uh, under evaluation of currently diagnosed with COVID? No. And in contact with someone with COVID in the last 14 days? No. Not that I know of. <laughs> Did you need help with something in particular? Or just check it out? Um, well, I definitely was after these brochures here. Okay. But if there's, um, I guess, is there a particular place you go to apply for general assistance or? Yeah, so that would be here with them right now. Okay. Um, the young lady that's there, she's actually not in today. Okay. Um, but we do have a website if you need to submit an application online. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of gets that process started for you. Sure. And then what will happen is when she gets back into it here tomorrow, she'll go through those. She'll give you a call. She'll kind of start through the screening and then she'll assign you a casework. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, down this hallway, is that just like offices of people or is that different places that the public can go? Yeah, so it's a little bit of a mixture of both. So I do have offices that kind of go that way and uh, we do have ropes that kind of designated but nobody ever puts them off like mm -hmm. this. I'm in the bathroom area. We do have an atrium area, okay. which is intended for the kids. Right. Uh, but that one right now with COVID and everything, not so much clothes, they just can't, you know, play in the area and all that kind of stuff. And then JBD section, uh, the clinical team, Technically, it is closed off, but they kind of don't mind, you know, mm -hmm. just want to look around. Um, JPD, that's the juvenile detention? Yeah, the, it's their clinical team. Right, okay. Yeah, so this building, it is a county building. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a mixture of different divisions. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go try to find maybe the senior nutrition program. I, they're probably already closed, but... So, actually, they're here, located here. It's uh, The senior nutrition is here. Um, that falls under our department and they are kind of back there but if you do need to talk to someone maybe I can get you someone to come out here um like I said you guys are about to close or at least I know they are so yeah, no, yeah, we do close at five, yeah. Down, you know? I'm not trying to make everybody drop everything I'm just trying to just walk around see the public accessible areas yeah, oh yeah, perfect. and uh you want to check out the atrium uh I'm good for now I don't mind Oh, no, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. looks nice, but uh, I'll check that out later. Okay. Right now, I'm just trying to get all the information I can about the programs. Okay, so, yeah, yeah so the, that's the TA, the senior nutrition. Um, it is for intended for individuals over the age of, uh, I believe it's 60 or 65. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also accessible to some individuals with disabilities. Um, what they do is they can call our program, kind of go through the application process, and then... Um, it's not so much an income-based or anything like that. 
it, it'll go through the state and then it's determined through our funders whether they can start receiving those meals either at home mm -hmm. or at the senior centers just depending on their and when i say there i mean the clients abilities you know if, if they're able to go to the senior centers then obviously they would receive the meals there you know and then if not then they would receive them at home kind of kind of like the meals on wheels if you will right right very similar to that exactly okay yeah yeah it, uh there's a lot of programs i never knew about until i started doing some research um, yeah i mean i i have some some stuff available you know mm -hmm. They also have the coordinated entry. They're trying to run through the 211. Very similar to general assistance, uh, but they're more so like homeless prevention. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so that's, that's, a, that's a really, really good program. Uh, I personally like it. If I see someone that might qualify, we try to you know, get, get as much information as we can. Right. Um, okay. So this is for the senior nutrition home delivered meals. Okay. And then this is for the congregate. The, I'm sorry, what do you call it? Congregate? The, the senior centers, if you will. Oh, okay. They call it congregate, okay. Yeah, it's kind of what we call them internal. Right, right. Because that's the whole intention. For that's them. what they do. For yeah. them to congregate <laughs> and, and, I mean, have you been to some of the centers? No, this is all new to me. Um, okay. I, I remember many, many years ago, I dropped off a teenager at the juvenile detention, but obviously that has nothing to do with this stuff. Yeah, no, no, definitely not. Um, I recommend it, especially once they start opening up. Mm -hmm. um, just again, I'm not part of that specific division, I'm more administrative. Mm -hmm. um, but when we go do inventory, stuff like that, I mean, I've seen them, they play Wii U, some of them pool tables, they, all of them play bingo. It's, it's, it's a great program for the seniors to kind of have a daily interaction with other people and it's, it's really great you know are those are also publicly accessible events yeah, yeah okay i mean you you're more than welcome to go into the centers you check it out i mean obviously you're not of the age criteria to receive the meal right um, no i'm not after the meals but it, yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, but it is a it is a, a either a county or a city building mm -hmm. and it is accessible to the public you know, okay I, I don't think i don't think they can tell you no you know what I mean? They might have an objection with the recording. They might not. I just don't know what their policies are. Obviously, that's what I'm getting at. Because yeah. there have been situations. I'm not going to give you all the details, but there's been situations where people yeah. sometimes even get very hostile when I'm trying to document with my camera. Um, and I really appreciate your professionalism because, you know, I'm not here to cause any problems. Yeah, exactly. Just, yeah. I mean, you're doing your thing, you know. I can't say no to that. Uh, actually, the reason, one of the reasons I came here today, uh, and I assume you're a county employee. Right. Yes. Um, like, not just a volunteer, but an actual paid. Oh, I'm not bad, but yes. <laughs> okay. Do you have a card? Not for me, no. Okay. No, I can get you my boss's card. Okay, that works, yeah. Uh, let's see, I don't have one here. And if you don't mind writing your name on the back of that card, yeah, no, not at all, no. just so I have a point of contact. And my boss, he's the, as I find it, he's the operations manager, man, so he's, uh, he's more knowledgeable than I am. He's been here a lot. You know what, I don't have one, but let me call someone that can give me one down here, okay? Oh, just a card of anybody is fine. It doesn't have to be a particular person. It'll be quick, man. Okay. So that's what we're here for, you know? Sounds good. But so, yeah, you're a, a county employee. Do you mind if I get your name? Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay. And um, so one of the reasons I came down here today. I was just going to say one of the reasons I came down here today. And I was trying to make it before you guys close because um, there's a particular topic at the county commissioner's meeting today. Okay. And it regarded the uh, general assistance program. And then um, once I started looking into that, I noticed that there was that also the senior nutrition program. So I was interested in looking into that as well. Uh, yeah, so, so as you saw uh, on commissioner's court, our, our director, uh, Irene Bonin-Flynn, 
I think so, that, yeah. Yeah, so she's the director for the community services department. Mm -hmm. and, and within that, um, we have one, two, I want to say it's four divisions. So you have the general assistance, which incorporates the, the, the utility and all that assistance. Mm -hmm. um, and then under them falls the bracket of coordinated entry. Mm -hmm. We have the senior nutrition program. And then we have the uh, reentry support services. And so what they do is uh, they help individuals that are currently or were recently incarcerated. Right. And what they do is they help, um, you know, kind of like a case management situation to help uh, reduce recidivism. Okay. And so well, that's what they do. And then the other one we have is the uh, South Help Center. And they're out on Agua Dulce, on Ketwood. Okay. And what they do, their program is actually, it's pretty unique, man. What they do is if you're... I don't, they probably have like more time over. Okay, well, it's fine. I'll get on, okay, I'll I mean, we'll be And so what they do, man, is, um, what, what I, I like there is, man, because if, if you're home, is in bad conditions and you qualify for the program mm -hmm. they'll actually buy you a new mobile home okay yeah I've, I've heard about that i definitely like to look more into that like the actual paperwork regarding all that yeah and so that one uh the program manager is diana marroquin so so this is pat okay that's her she's one of our eligibility officers okay yeah the one in brown right. gotcha so where she uh, handles the, uh, the, the the paperwork for general assistance. Okay. Right. Sounds good. Yeah, but no, yeah, man, definitely. I, I recommend the self help. It's it's far out there, man. Okay. Um, a lot of people don't even know that there's an area out there past Horizon that's called Agua Dulce. I did. <laughs> you know what? It's so funny you say that because until I moved out to Horizon, I didn't know that there's also Montana Vista. There's there's a whole bunch of communities out there. They're not actually part of the city yeah. or part of any town. Yeah. But they're part of the county. Right. And, and they, so they fall under our blanket. Right. You know? And they're real people. There's a bunch, a lot of them. Yeah. It's and, just, and, and yeah. the funny thing, like, like today, early voting started, right? They're involved in that. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize it. You know? Right. So I think it's good that... We, we promote those programs way out there mm -hmm. you know, so that people can be informed that, you know, it's more than just what you think, you know, Far East and then that's it. There's mm -hmm. a lot more to it. And, and I live on the Far East, so I totally agree with you. And uh, I'm still learning more every day because I go to little nooks and crannies like San Eli and I still need to go to Tornillo. Right. Um, Have I you mean, been to Benton up there? Oh, that's in the Upper Valley. Yeah. I've only driven through there. Yeah. yeah. And, a lot of people don't realize that Benton is part of the county. Right. Oh, I knew that. I know it's part of the county. I know that the Texas side of Anthony, that's part of the county. Yeah, basically from there yeah. all the way past down to, I want to say, Fabens and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, Fabens, Torrino. Yeah, it, it goes far. Yeah. The, the, it's a long way. When people say the word, oh, I live in El Paso, sure, there's a, there's a lot of people that live in the city, but... There's, there's quite a bit of people, and growing. It's, it's yeah. only getting bigger every day that live outside the city, like me. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah. Well, Jonathan, um, very, very uh, professional and informative, and I really you appreciate can, all your help, man. You can come, gentlemen, whenever you need something. Okay. We're here. You know, we're, we're here to serve you guys. You know, that's, that's what your money does, you know? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm really, really glad that they've got a man like you on the job, and... Um, you know, I, I'm glad that programs like this exist because you always hear about people telling each other, whether it's, it doesn't even matter what age group, they're always like, you know, just pull yourself up by the bootstraps and, you know, get, get yourself together. But yeah. sometimes you need places like this to... There's programs like us that are, yeah. that are here intended for something happens, we come in, we help you, right. get back on your feet, and then you're back to living your life like normal. Right. Keep people off the street. Keep... Yeah. People who got out of jail from, because yeah, worse, man, worse. Uh, yeah, there's just so many situations out there. All, all because maybe they were so desperate because they couldn't buy socks, you know, yeah, like I mean, I, yeah. I had a guy, when I was at Agua Dulce, um, not long ago. I had a guy come in looking for copies mm -hmm. and just some simple questions, some simple screening. I, I I found out, man, he was staying in a porta potty. In a what? Porta potty. Oh. So we actually, we are programmed through coordinated entry. We were actually able to get him into the Inspiral Hotel out on, uh, on Mesa. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we were able to get him there. That same night, man, he had a room, a shower, food. Mm -hmm. You know, he was off the streets. Even if it was just for a little bit, it helped. That's a beautiful story. And, and I know a lot of people might think that that's like a government handout. But in my opinion, that saves the taxpayers way more in the long run. Because people like that, out of desperation, they're going to steal something or... I mean, you, you just never know. Yeah. You know, even if it saves a life, as simple as it might seem. Yeah, especially if it's cold, yeah. Yeah, and it was cold, man. It was uh, right before that winter storm we had. Right. You know, so, I mean, it was awesome, man. He, he, he appreciated it. He thanked us. And, and again, that's not even the point. The fact is that, you know, we, we got him somewhere. Mm -hmm. Just to start. That's, that's great how everything came together like that. That's a beautiful story. But uh, I know you guys are about to close. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I definitely don't want to be that guy at last uh, call. So. I mean, if you want to come back, man, <laughs> uh, we do have this video. It is on our website mm -hmm. for all our divisions. We are under the county blanket um, under community services. Mm -hmm. And again, if you have questions, call us. That's what we're here for. You know? Well. And I appreciate all the directions to different websites and everything, and I'll definitely look at into those for my own personal reasons. But as you can tell, I'm, I'm creating this video. I'm trying to build something so that I can pre present it to other people, um, you know, other busy working people or other people who might not be able to ha have the transportation to get down here. Yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of uh, uh, indigent, indigent people that don't have the means, mm -hmm. you know, don't have the means to either the online or like you said, transportation to get here, or, or just the fact that we were talking about those people that live way out there. Yeah, yeah. So we are here, Delta, from Pascarata Park. It seems accessible to those that live in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm sure it was a good drive for you. <laughs> yeah, and, and see, I have the time to do this, but a lot of people, even if they have money, even if they have a car, they're time poor. Like, right. they might have three kids, and they have to, who knows, do, no, who knows what, even if it's just buying groceries. So a lot of people... They're, they're poor on time. So that's yeah. another reason I'm making this video. No, yeah, that's, that's good, man. That's good. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, I appreciate you, Jonathan. And um, yeah. we will no, 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 yeah, no, be in touch. Really, 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 really need anything, just, you know, come on in, give us a call. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and let us know. You can always ask for me. That's not a problem. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an administrative specialist. And, and so, you know, that's, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you guys. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I, I don't need the services personally, but I'm trying to get the word out there about what is available to other people. Yeah, whoever you show this video to, man, come on down. Let's give us a call. Let's over here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm glad you say all those words, especially because I did call today. Uh -huh. I spoke to one lady named Luz, who was very helpful about everything. Senior nutrition? Yeah. Yes. Then there was another woman who I think was her supervisor, and she was not happy about the idea I had about video recording. And so she ended the phone call abruptly. And, uh, and I'm not trying to get confrontational with anybody. Yeah. But that's another reason I was like, okay, well, now I definitely got to go because, you know, yeah, this well, is true. We want to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Means, yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, I don't know who you spoke to, but maybe they're back there for a reason. Yeah. No, and, and, and you know, it, it's, it's totally normal and natural. And like I said, I'm, I'm not here to cause any problems. Um, so once again, thanks for all your help. Yeah, we'll be in touch, and uh, if I have any questions, I'll reach out to you. Perfect. Sounds great. Have a good day, Jonathan. You too. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.